I completed Necropolis. I explored Necropolis, and I got a rank 3 gem out of Necropolis. And thanks to that, I can take a 7-star up to rank 3. My only problem? I'm indecisive. I can't decide. I can't decide what I want to do. And so, rather than making the choice myself, I would have my champions earn the right to become rank 3 by winning races. They're gonna race each other. They're gonna be marbles and they're gonna race each other. And it's gonna be epic. So I've picked six maps, one for each class type, and I have picked eight champions to take them to rank three. All of these champions are worth the rank up, but they're gonna be competing against each other. Check this out, a fun little thing for us to be able to keep track of where people are at. As you can see on the side there, the points per placement that you get, if they die in the race, you get zero points. You're disqualified from that race. So there may be a few times that there's a bunch of characters that get zero points. Personally, if you want to pick somebody to like cheer for, I'm all for that. My least favorite is probably Maestro. Dark Horse, I'm gonna say, is Iron Man. And my favorite is Titania. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Let me get to the first map. The map that the science characters have chosen. They all came together. It wasn't me that decided, it was, it was them. But here is the science map. The Storm. This is the Storm map. Nature, science, the whole shebang, everybody has their marble. Best of luck to everybody. I hope the best champion wins so that I have a really powerful rank three. That would be nice. The race has started. Everybody converges on the center here. Early leaders, this will decide it all. Oh, we have Titania on the side over here. We have Wong and the rest of the pack. And soon we will be shot straight into the eye of the storm. Let's go Titania. I'm cheering for you in this, ra in this race. Oh, she makes it through the storm. She gets caught in the storm. <gasps> Oh, they survived, both of them. Maestro and Titania. All right, everybody's making it through the storm. I don't think anybody has died yet, so that's cool. Iron Man, Iron Man, no! <laughs> He's gone. Dude, what is Maestro on? What has this guy got? He's just built a little bit different. If somebody can pick a really good line, keep them their momentum, they could pass him up, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Maestro is in first place for this race. Sassy takes second, Titania takes third. I don't know where Sassy came from. He was in the race, but I didn't see him that whole time. <laughs> All right, Silk has made it. Come on, Wong. Come on, Adam. What are we doing? He's going backwards. Wow, okay. She just picked it up. Adam is stuck. Poor freaking Adam cannot get through this part of the map. Come on, man. You would be a really cool rank three, I'm just saying. And the race has ended. All right. The finishing. Okay. First race over. This is how the standings are. Uh, everything has been flipped, basically. The people that were at the top, just not off of any racing, but just off of like me putting them in, have all been moved down. And the people that were at the bottom have all been moved up, except for Iron Man, who didn't go anywhere at all. Awkward. All right, let me get the next track ready. We did science class. Welcome to the skill racetrack. I think Sheilith probably has the advantage here, but I don't want to say for sure. Let's race. Having class advantage may not actually be an advantage at all. Dude, Maestro is schmoovin'! Somebody stop this guy! Can I be real? Maestro is the one I want to rank up the least. I prefer to not. As it is the skill class, I thought this map was fitting because you need to fight. You have to have fighting skills to get through every part of this map. Sasquatch just died. We lost Sassy. I don't know what happened. <gasps> Wong died! No! He was in first! Oh, Wong. What happened, man? Well... Looks like Iron Man is now in the lead. He's making up for that last place he got last time. If he can make it all the way. Which, he still has to make it through this brutal <laughs> obstacle right here. It seems like Iron Man is dominating the skill class, though. Just gotta be careful to not get thwacked off of the map, and also not get thwacked in a backwards direction. Losing momentum. That's no good. Finish line is right over here. Let's see if he takes it. I, can, I see Maestro. Maestro's itching for that first place spot, but he's not gonna get it because it belongs to Iron Man. Iron Man is in first place. It's like Maestro has made it through the fight of his life and he's gonna take second place most likely. And we've got uh, Silk bringing up the rear. <gasps> Maestro died, Sheila died. They missed at the end. What happened? What a twist, what a turn. We lost four, we lost half of the champions. That was a brutal map. I mean, that's what you would expect from the skill class. Although, Cheelith dying, unexpected. Yeah, this is what I'll do. I'll change their points first. Final results after race number two. 
Titania in first place. That's exciting. I don't, I don't mind that at all. Next up, on this technology map. Lots of technology, much advancement. Let's see who comes out of here first. The early leaders. You would think that Iron Man would win this. You would think that Iron Man has the big advantage on the tech map, but it's not guaranteed. Adam Warlock, cosmic character who should have class advantage, not doing so hot. We've got an early leader in Chilith. Chilith wants to make up for that big L that she took on her own skill map. Oh, that sound? That's people taking portals. Wong has died again! Oh, Wong! Uh-oh. Chilith died! Ah, oh, Sasquatch died! Iron Man died! No! Everybody's dying. This is so bad, dude. What is Adam Warlock doing? How is he so slow? It took him 20 years to get through that first bowl. Oh, <gasps> Titania's been lifted off. Titania's dead. Dude, Silk is dead. Maestro's dead! Nobody's gonna survive this map. Nobody's gonna survive. It's just Adam Warlock. <laughs> if Adam Warlock takes this, this is huge for Adam. Literally everybody else died. I mean, Adam Warlock finished. All right. Results following the third race. This is how we're looking. This is how we're cooking. Things are not looking so hot for for Wong and Chilith, both. I'd say everybody else is still pretty solidly in the race. But the technology map was brutal. Nobody expected that. I sure didn't. And let's go to the mutant map next. Ice map for mutants. Specifically Iceman. Just Iceman. There needs to be an Ice map. There always has to be an Ice map. Go! And we're off. Hopefully fewer people will die today. Silk and Iron Man taking an early lead, followed by Maestro, who's just an unstoppable force of nature. Uh, Adam Warlock, once again, <laughs> taking his time, dude, but it paid off last time. So maybe he knows something that I don't. Uh, Sasquatch does have immunity to Cold Snap, so we may see him coming through on this. Uh, so far we've got the... Oh, Iron Man got taken out by Maestro. I'm gonna blame Maestro for that one. Everybody is entering the ski slopes. Oh no, Maestro's in first again. Not this. Silk takes another direction. We just have to hope that Silk is faster somehow. Oh dude, Maestro's so fast. He's so fast, but it's, it's not a guarantee he'll make it into the hole first. You never know. You never know. Silk might have it. Or Iron Man. Come on, Silk, Iron Man. Work together on this. Work together. Oh no, Silk and Maestro worked together. Oh, <gasps> Silk! Silk wins! Wait, it changed! It changed! It said Silk won and then it said that Maestro won! What is this? I'd like to see an instant replay. Does anybody have an instant replay on that? It said that Silk came in first place, right? All right, two more finishers. We got Titania and Wong, and we got Sassy. Adam Warlock, he moves at his own pace. <laughs> he does his own thing. Just went back and saw it. Maestro was first. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's fine. You know what? He's just the one that I want to rank up the least. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I can't believe that Adam Warlock won a full race and then came in last place. What a guy. <laughs> All right. Four races down, two races to go. Two more races. Welcome to the Mystic Map, everybody. It's a long one, but it all really comes down to what path you choose to follow. Let's go. The marbles are off. There can be deaths. Sassy takes the Mystic advantage, as is his class type. But he loses his momentum, and the science characters also lose their momentum. Will Wong step up? Adam Warlock, again. Moves to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> just, he's just here to, you know, be a marble. We've got Iron Man in first place. I guess magic is no, no match for technology. If I'm being honest, though, what it really comes down to is this over here. There's three different paths the marbles can take. And if they go over to the right path, chances are not very good of them winning. Although I did say that last time, and Maestro won, even though he took this path. This is the curly fry. It takes forever, forever to get through. If somebody can get through the middle or go over to the right, they have a much better chance of moving quicker to the finish line. Oh, Titania might go through the middle. Oh, this might be a, a dubski for Titania. Iron Man goes over to the right. He's gonna be the first one into the curly fry, which means he has the best chance of being somebody who wins on the curly fry. Uh, everybody else is gonna fly over now, or most of them. Adam Warlock's chilling back there. <gasps> Maestro and Sassy died. What ha? Who? Huh? Yeah? I don't want to say I'm happy about that, but I'm... Thank goodness, dude. <laughs> Maestro's out! 
Titania's already made it through that area over there. She could die over here, though, if she takes the wrong angle. But it looks like she's fine. She could also die over here if she somehow... She messed up. She messed up. She messed up and she died. Titania's out. Oh, Titania. All right. Well, it looks like Iron Man now has the best... Although, Adam Warlock took the other path as well. Let's see if he can survive where Titania did not. We, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Although Iron Man has made it out of the Curly Fry, which means he's going to be dropping in, and I think he's going to drop in before Adam Warlock. Let's watch. Carefully. He does. All right, he's passed up Adam Warlock. For sure. Wong also passes up Adam Warlock. Maybe I was wrong about the Curly Fry all along. It's kind of the safest path. The most direct route to victory. Iron Man takes the win. And Wong makes it. Okay, okay. Second place for Wong. Finally. Finally, Wong gets a decent placement, dude. Uh, we got Shield coming in third. Silk coming in fourth. And I don't I don't think anything's going to happen to Adam, but I don't want to say for sure. He comes in fifth place, though. And these are the final placements. Let's get these points on. All right. This is Iron Man's race to lose. You're right. But Maestro, Adam, and Silk are all in the running still. Titania could also sweep it if everybody sucks, somehow. So, it's not Jover yet for anybody that's in fifth place or above. Sorry, Wong. The final map is a cosmic quest. Welcome to the reaches of outer space. One final race to decide who's the rank three that I'll be ranking today. And as the proper cosmic he is, Adam Warlock takes an early lead along with Iron Man, Silk, Maestro, and Titania all up front. It's not over for anybody yet, except for Sasquatch. He already knows what's happening. He's not even trying, dude. <laughs> Straight up. We've got a circle around all of the planets here. Adam Warlock is now in the lead, followed by Iron Man and Silk. Dude, this is close. Maestro has been sent into the furthest reaches of outer space. And he's dead! Maestro is out! Completely! Uh, I don't want to be too happy about that, dude, but I'm not taking Maestro up to rank three. <laughs> Dude, everybody who's in first, second, and third, they're all in Titania too. All of these characters are in the running. Iron Man is in the lead though. Uh, he could take it all. We're gonna race under Jupiter, which is just massive. Really massive. Let's follow Iron Man. Let's pick up speed. We're zooming. Isn't this just aesthetically pleasing? All right, Iron Man makes the jump. Everybody's zooming, dude. Look at this. What a way to finish it. This is the best it could be. I, dude, if Iron Man's to, to rank three Iron Man, I, I, I haven't seen it before. Uh, be careful over here. If you hit that, oh, you can fall off the map and die. Silk's out. Oh, Chill's out. Titania also hit it, but somehow survived. <gasps> Adam's out. He hit it. Sasquatch is out. Titania's out. It's just down to Iron Man and Wong. Iron Man just, just wins. He's dead! <laughs> All right, it's a redo. It's a redo unless Wong wins. If Wong wins this race, it's gonna look really good for him and really bad for everybody else. Wow! I didn't know this map was this brutal, but space is, is known to be quite cold and unforgiving, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Everybody died, except for Wong. You know what? He had the he had class advantage, and in the end, he stood up. He said, this is who I am. I am Wong. And you're wrong for not ranking me up. That's what he's saying. I'm not going to listen, though, because the results speak for themselves. Let's give Wong his points. There we go. All right, the race is over. We did our six races for each class type. And the final winner stands strong. He earned it. We know he earned it. And I've been waiting to rank him up. It has been like two weeks since the race happened. I couldn't take him up because I didn't have the catalysts for it. And now I do. But rather than use the catalysts, I'm going to use what he deserves, which is a gem. Because he is a gem. He, he won. He won his tournament. All right, we have ourselves a full rank two Iron Man. And we have a gem. A gem that I got from completing Necropolis, exploring Necropolis. All of my hard work, all of my hard labor. And it goes to Mr. Tony Stark. Welcome. Welcome to rank three. He's maxed out, and oh, is he beautiful. We should probably see the damage that he does, right? 
We probably need to test out and see what he can do. That hurt to watch an unduped Iron Man go to rank 3? Sounds like jealousy to me, actually. I'd be jealous if I actually liked Iron Man. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool that they made Iron Man good. And he's such an OG character, and he's just so cool. Or, dude, I don't know. Alright, we're off to a great start. I just want to see the damage I can get here. Here we go. All we gotta do is ramp up Iron Man a little bit. And we do that by getting up to a special 2. Plus parry on the special attacks. Because that gives us extra bonus stuff. Parry again. And then we go. Boom. ka -chow, 21k. I'm trying to remember what he was doing before. Uh, before I ranked him up here. Let's, if we get these armor breaks going, let's see the damage kick in. Parry. Boom. 27k crit on medium. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> 27k crit on mediums, not too shabby. Get six armor breaks up. Parry that. 28k. 48k. I don't know where that 48k came from. Maybe that was Assassin's Range. Alright, show me the stats. Show me the money. 57 seconds, 51 hits. 5 hits received. Isn't he good? 